what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage here. You'll notice that I think I got rid of some of that vampiric corruption in the uh, sinus, the allergies I was having, so hopefully I'm back to my normal nasally self rather than any more, but got something tonight that I'm pretty excited about. This is the uh, GeForce 1080, and this is the Founders Edition. Um, the other cards have not come out yet, and I actually really liked the look of this reference card, so I decided to go with it, and I'm going to unbox that for you all tonight. All right, so here's what came inside, you know, the cool box here. Uh, just, you know, nothing spectacular. It's a box. What's inside of it is what I'm after, obviously. Uh, we've got this, um, which is just drivers and an instruction manual, which these days is pretty much nothing because everything's on the Internet. Um, and then here we have the card itself. Uh, I'll unwrap it, and we'll jump back in and show here's it. Here's the card outside of the packaging. Um, obviously, this is what we saw from NVIDIA. It's a, it's a reference card. This one says gigabyte on the package, but it's... It's a reference card. It's not anything um, uh, special in that respect from a design standpoint. Um, but I I'll tell you, I've I've never bought a top end like a uh, card like a, a 980 Ti or even a 980. I had a 970 previously, which is a very nice card. But uh, this one, there's a couple of things that just want you all to be very uh, aware of. So in this case, the card is very hefty. It it's heavier than any graphics card I've had before. And all this on the outside that I thought was kind of plastic whenever I saw the demonstration, it's actually, uh, I believe it's aluminum or something. It's, it's metal. It's definitely not plastic. The back plate is also very clean. You're not seeing like any, any circuit board stuff on the back of that. Very clean. Very nice design. Um, you know, obviously it's PCIe. Nothing new there. And then in terms of uh, ports available for monitors, it's got one DVI, one HDMI, and the rest of the 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 DP the display ports um, so lots of options there in terms of what you want to plug in and then in terms of power right here uh, over here on this side it's just a eight pin power and my old 970 was two six pins and then the 760 before that was two eight pins so clearly they're making some steps forward on that uh, fan is very nice looking uh, just a, a radial fan here interesting looking design again very clean looking design when you pick this thing up, you can tell it's high quality. Uh, very, uh, very nice construction, nice materials. It, it feels and looks extremely high quality. Um, let's get it installed. And uh, actually, before I get it installed, I'll show you. Uh, obviously, it's different brands, so not necessarily going for a big competition here. Both both my graphics cards have been good, but I'll show you what it looks like up against the 970 when I pull Here's it out. Here's the back plates compared to each other. Again, just how clean the design is. I, I don't know if it makes any performance difference, but just from an aesthetic standpoint, I mean, that is, that is impressive. Um, now, just to kind of show you the difference between these two cards, uh, this is, of course, the 1080 that I was showing you a moment ago, and this is my uh, was my current card. And it was a very nice card, EVGA 970. Um, really great performance for the money uh, on that card. And honestly, a couple of those guys in SLI would be pretty beastly. Um, but Total War Games never really been big on SLI, so I've never been big on it either. Uh, but ju that just kind of gives you a comparison um, between these two cards. Uh, Size-wise, you're pretty much right in the same range. Height-wise, you're pretty much in the same range. Um, obviously, though, definitely preferring the look and performance of this one. Been a good good run. This one's going to go to a friend now and, and get, get put to continued use. And let's get this one installed and take a look at it installed. All right, so here we are. Um, got the card installed, looking very good. Uh, at this point, I should have asked uh, Gigabyte and Corsair to sponsor this build because it's pretty much all theirs. Uh, just to bring you up to date on all the stuff that's in my build, um, I still have my i7-4770K processor, but... Uh, you'll see in another video that I'm going to post, I was late posting it, I showed you how I put this water cooler on here, so it's overclocked now to uh, 4.5 gigahertz. Very nice performance out of it. This is my RAM here, it's DDR3, but I think it's running 2400 megahertz, so nice RAM. Um, got the, the GTX 1080, just now installed, haven't even turned it on yet. So here you can see that 8 pin power. I think I said 6 pin earlier, it takes one 6 pin, it's actually one 8 pin, so I apologize. Um, got my Elgato gaming capture card here, that looks pretty dwarfed compared to the gigantic graphics card. Um, but I don't know why you would need a capture card that powerful. Got my power supply down here, it's a CX750M, it's a modular power supply, pretty nice. Um, and then down here I got my, my two drives, I've got a solid state drive on the top rack, and then my hard disk drive here, and then of course just a DVD drive up top. So that's my build for those who are wondering about it. Um, anyway, let's get this turned on and go run some benchmarks.